everybody. Tis I, Dave Murray, the big guy at Maniacs Branding. And whew, I don't know about the rest of you, but I was up really late last night watching the greatest quarterback in NFL history win his seventh Super Bowl. So hang on just a sec here. Ugh, caffeinated beveraging. Delectable. But what the heck does that have to do with Maniacs Branding? Well, I'll tell you. So Maniacs Branding has four core values, and one of them is health. And even for the Super Bowl, I thought, I want to try and eat healthy for this. It's not going to be perfect because it never is, but it's going to be a lot better than if I went out and got some chicken wings or ordered some pizza anything like that. I got a hold of the mom because I went to mom's to hang out for the Super Bowl. She's kind of fun, believe it or not. And I said, mom, let's make something healthy. And I'm going to record it for Maniacs Branding. And oh, great googly moogly, I did. Uh, it's going to be the choppiest video I've ever done, <laughs> which is kind of funny because of cutting things. But also, because no one that does branding should ever try to record a video that has anything to do with cooking or food prep. Every time I went to set down the camera after doing some recording, something else had to happen. Oh my gosh, okay, hang on, hang on. Let me grab the camera again. Whew. Whew. So it was a bit of a pain, but we ended up with some pretty healthy chow. So... Here's all the videos I shot spliced together so you can see what we ate. That's it. Everybody have fun. Hope you enjoyed the game and uh, hope you enjoy this video. All right. This is us winging it. <laughs> yeah, had to be done. We've got uh, about a pound and a half of chicken tenders. We have some sweet baby raised buffalo sauce. And we have the red glasses because why not? The winging it comes in because we're not following a recipe at all. We're going to see what we can do. So, oh yeah, the mom wants to cheat. There's a little bit of regular barbecue sauce. Psh. All right, here we go. Let's see, a tablespoon's a serving. <laughs> Oops, that might be more than a tablespoon. Okay, so there's going to be three different kinds of chicken here for today's big game. I hate that I have to say big game. I feel like I should be allowed to say bull. I don't know. Anyway, so we've got here on the left side, we've got some spices and some avocado oil. And then the top here is the barbecue sauce. And that was my finger. Say hi, finger. And then I'm going to be putting on real quick these, which is the stuff with the buffalo sauce. And I'm going to hope they all fit and that I can hold the camera at the same time that I'm doing this. And mom's asking why I'm putting them sideways. I was never somebody that should ever work in a packaging plant. But I think that we have the right number for doing this, for doing it this way. And of course, we still have the red glasses. Mine are much prettier. Mom's a jerk because she always has to turn things into a competition, which might be partially where I got it from. Okay, now we got that. Oh, yeah, look at that. Nailed it. That is the prettiest thing a chicken you've ever seen. Yeah, and hopefully. At least the buffalo wings ones are healthier than you could get at anybody's favorite chain barbecue wing joint. Because as much as I love Asian zinc, there's a little bit of sugar in there. Next move, we'll be popping these bad boys in the fridge to keep them cool and get them ready for the oven. Next up, as the chicken has been waiting in the fridge for a while because, frankly, we needed caffeinated beverages, will be asparagus. The oven is set for 425, preheated. We're just going to throw some of this stuff in there, cut some ends off, throw them in the oven with some avocado oil, some fancy salt, because I'm nothing if not fancy, and some pepper at 425. Leave them in there for 12 to 15 minutes, whatever. I don't know that we're really going to worry too much about the amount of salt and pepper that we put on there. The, uh, the red glasses 
they're not going in the oven because that would burn my face. So, <laughs> yeah, don't want to be on fire like that. And now we have Mom using the salt and the pepper, wearing some quality, quality eyewear. Yeah, yeah. She hates it, by the way, when I come in wearing the red shirt and the red glasses. It's good times for me. Annoying for her. And now, oh, here we go. These bad boys are going in the oven. I promise these things are tasty. Oh, kind of can't wait. Kind of can't wait. If I knew how to work this, I'd push the button so I could see the light. Oh, this, folks, this is the good part. Notice I'm not wearing any gloves on my hands. Uh, I'm a brander, not a cook. And now, we wait. Now, Mom digs her potatoes. I'm not going to lie. I, I also, from time to time, enjoy potatoes myself. These are Alexia potato puffs that are going in the whole oven here for a minute. And, you know, okay, longer than a minute. The big deal about them is there's no trans fat. And, uh, let's see here. Oh, non-GMO certified. Now, who knows what that really means when you study enough. You're not so sure. But hey, it looks pretty, and potatoes are tasty, so there's always that. Making sure we fill video time by showing Mom turning over the asparagus. Oh yeah, this part? Key. There was a slight camera jerk there as she kicked me. Evil, evil people. Nope. Oh, forgot the celery and the blue cheese. So what do you think? Think I can cut while filming? I don't know. Let's find out. Let's see here. Okay, we're on it. That's probably not something I should keep doing. Anyway, all that is going to get cut like that. And then I'll feel like I'm kind of caught up. Whew! Cooking is hard. So is cutting. So is recording video while trying to do all that. Oh, the things I go through for you guys. All right, the first thing to come out of the oven. Ooh, crispy asparagusage. Not bad. We're still waiting on the chicken. Looking a little greasy, but I'm sure it'll be tasty. And let's see the potatoes. Oh, man, so close. Whoa, now you're looking through the glasses of the asparagus, which I'm just going to say right now. We're going to be gone by the time dinner shows up. I don't know if you can really tell on the video. They're basically shoestrings. There's really nothing to them. Hang on. Let's see what I can do here. I'll just grab one. That's, that's our asparagus. It's tasty. It's just not a lot. Testing the chicken after 25 minutes. Let's see. What do you think, Mom? Looks good. Game on. Oh, that's going to be the good part. Recording for food is hard. Remind me to never be a chef. 614, the Super Bowl, that's right, I said it, starts in 16 minutes, and food is served. Ah, uh, ladies and gentlemen, dinner is served. The next portion of this video is probably just going to be me picking out, because... Everybody loves to watch me eat, right? Right? Anybody? Anybody? Yes, you are seeing this after the Super Bowl aired, but hey, now you get kind of a look into what I try to do when it comes to, you know, even going off the rails a little bit. I still try to be a little healthy. Sometimes I'm not all that successful, and that's okay. But overall, health is a, it's a good thing. Eating healthy. Good thing. Uh, chicken wings? Better thing. Yeah. I wouldn't blame you at all if in the comments you all just said, Dave, we never want to see anything like that again. That's it. Everybody have fun. Stay safe. Stay healthy.
And as always, stay gutsy, gang.